I'm going to show you how to see your blood pressure using Whoop. Now, as you can see, I have the Whoop MG, which is on my wrist. If you have the five, you cannot see your blood pressure. But what you want to do is you basically want to go into the app and you basically want to click on the health option in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and scroll down just a little bit until we see the option called blood pressure insights. Now, when we click on this, you can actually see it will give you the get started guide on what blood pressure actually means. And basically what it's saying is it's a guide to actually help distinguish how how hard your heart is working to pump blood into your body and once you've actually made it through these things you can actually see it might ask you a few questions and you can click on none of the above or don't know if you don't know and once you do this you click on the accept to the terms of service and once on the screen it recommends that you actually have a cuff now we can actually do this just using the wearable so you just want to click on the next option here and it's basically going to suggest you sit quietly for five minutes no smoking eating alcohol or drinking and no music whatsoever just so it can be the most accurate result of your blood pressure and you click on get started and it's actually going to recommend that you take a blood pressure test prior to using whoops blood pressure so we can just have an accurate basis so that the whoop can actually analyze your current blood pressure or your recent data to help detect what type of blood pressure you actually have from just the wearable so you just want to enter in this information on the screen and if you are not able to get hold of a cuff and actually take three separate tests for the most accurate data what you can do is you can just go into the internet and see this chart right here which will basically tell you the different blood pressure norms or you can actually take a screenshot of this page and actually upload it to AI and just describe a little bit about yourself. Now I'm a sub elite runner and I have a very slow speed of aging from my last speed of aging test so that's what I told it so that's how I got my data right here if you are not able to get a cuff. Now the cuff is definitely the best option but when you click on next you can actually see it will bring you to this page like so where we can actually get an accurate reading of our blood pressure data and you can see after we've set it up basically it will start updating with our blood pressure every single day you can see my first day of data is in which is right here and that's all you need to do to use the blood pressure reading for whoop is you basically just add your data again it's the best option to use a cuff to get your first reading so that the whoop can have the best data to, to actually accurately describe your blood pressure or you can add manual readings if you do want to add more data from a cuff that you may have used because the more readings that you've actually done using a cuff the more accurate your whoops blood pressure data will actually be and again this is only on the mg so if you have the five you can not do this unfortunately.